<laughs> right, we're doing Lazy Brunch now with, with Keris. Now, first of all, Keris, what we have to discuss is Catatonia. Nine years ago, Yeah. I can't believe it's nine years ago, this was out. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. That is brilliant. I think it's ten years ago, actually. Ten years? Yeah. Doesn't seem yeah. like that, does it? It still stands up now, though, doesn't it? It does, it yeah. Brilliant. Especially now, monkeys. how is your cooking? It is it's either brilliant or just fatal. Okay. What sort of things my do you knife, cook? My knife wielding is pretty ace. Is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. What sort of things do you cook? Um, well, my, my mother cook, cooks curries. Right. Um, I don't really cook. <laughs> they just told me I'd have to cook, and I was like, does anyone have to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> and they said me, so I'm like, oh, What God. sort of things did you eat in Tennessee? Is it well, the best thing about Tennessee is the Mexican um, food there. Well, and all the Mexicans doing. that live there, I love it. I speak Spanish, and so I used to go as often as I could to a place called Las Casuelas and um, have mojada frita, which is the deep-fried tilapia, uh -huh. and just about anything there, which is amazing. You know, you, carnitas you, and carne asada. And, right, do you think the food in America is better than it is over here? Oh, uh, God, that's a, that's a loaded question. Yes. <laughs> it sort of is, isn't it, in a I, way? Because everyone always says you go to America, the food's not good. First of all, it's cheaper. <laughs> Do you, you, you think you can get a better meal cheaper in America? I it's, think it's it just depends on where you go. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, there's places here that are amazing now. And there's places over there that are rubbish, and there's places there that are amazing. Yeah, I, it's different, I like yeah. hole in the world. Well, people places. always have a go at the, the American food. Yeah, it's great. It's over good food. There. Uh, well, I think in many respects, what's happening in the States is similar to what happened here, say, 10 years ago. Everyone said, oh, British food's rubbish. And then you actually realise there's some really fantastic chefs doing great things over here, in the same way that there are over there. I mean, Thomas Keller, who is one of the best chefs in the world, American guy, yeah. Charlie Trotter. But so, over here, whenever you go for food, and it's like a slightly a lesser place. They bring out sachets of ketchup yeah, and sauce and stuff. It's there. like, come yeah. on, get some fresh stuff going. Yeah. Anyway, what are we making? Okay, right, we're going to make a, a breakfast burrito. So mm -hmm. we've got kind of something slightly Mexican for you. Yeah. And we're going to make kind of perfect scrambled eggs. First of all, we've got butter, eggs, milk. I'm just going to melt the butter and that needs to kind of start foaming before we get anything in. So, Keris, first job, if you want to break all those eggs into that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> We may, may need to work on your technique. No, I hear that if you do it on the surface. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's good. No, it's good. Maybe slightly, maybe not quite so, maybe quite not to Pembrokeshire. Maybe slightly more kind of Tennessee. You want to do it? No, no, no. So I try it again. Yeah, no, yeah no, no. try, try. A big chef, a chef told me it was better to do it this no, way. No, you don't get the shell in it. It's true. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. I'm, I need another egg. That was, it's all right, we can oh. cope with three. We can honestly cope with three. One. I've got shell in it. <laughs> and the best way to get your shell out. Tim, what's the best way to get the shell out? Um, with the shell. I've got it out with already. The shell, with the shell. I don't think they're fresh the eggs. The they're not fresh eggs. They are fresh they're eggs. They're fresh eggs. That's you can pull it. It's you've got a chicken out the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still got a feather on it. See how fresh you want it. <laughs> how fresh you want it. That's That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> In goes the milk. <laughs> give that, a, give that a whisk. Can I watch you? Just, just, just no. Just dump, it's dump, not, it's yeah. not real tap. No, it's <laughs> not. No, 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 no. <laughs> give that a whisk. <laughs> Can we get back to Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we may not be eating breakfast for just on time because we're eating. Right, now, onto this. What's happened is the egg, the uh, butter has started to foam. That's fantastic. That's all we need. Yes, Alan, thank you. And then we pour the egg mix into the pan. And when you make scrambled eggs at home, Tim, yeah. which you do every Sunday morning before you come yes, into work, definitely. I know what you do with your scrambled eggs where they're not right when you were asking me the other day. Right. It's because you start moving them around now, don't you? As soon as that mix you goes in. I do. I also had a little bit of milk as well. Is that good? Yeah, milk. It. We've got milk in there. Yeah. I'll tip yeah, you in that already. Now, okay. what you need to do with your scrambled eggs, get your perfect scrambled eggs, yeah. leave them in the pan until they start to set. See around the edge here? It's just beginning to set. Yeah. 
Okay? You don't move the eggs at all until that happens. And you're, you are, in fact, going to cook these, Mr. Lovejoy. Oh, okay. So all you want to do, as it starts to set, you <laughs> just keep moving it. <laughs> <laughs> you've got more, you've got chopping. You said your shopping skills were fantastic. Shopping. So you just keep moving that into the middle. And oh, as it's right, set, okay. but let it have a good little set and keep doing that. Okay? Now, back to you, Catherine. My, this is my the sort of <laughs> Yay! Hold up. All right. Have a drink. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we get now the other ingredients for our burrito. We've got our flour burrito. This is turning there. into an omelette. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Because what happens is, as you keep doing it, then you keep moving it into the centre, and you can then start to break it up a little bit. Now it's setting, you can start working it slightly more, and it stops it becoming really lumpy, and it gets nice and smooth. So, the rest okay. of the ingredients, we've got some cheese, some spinach, these are pepper two peppers, and we've got some red pepper. They're not, they look like habaneros. Yeah, they're kind of like the pickle scotch bonnets is, is pretty much what they are, but they're kind of, they're, they're quite mild because they've been pickled. I'm saying that's done, Mr. Simon. It's fantastic. And that's no, it, as soon as you've done, done that, done to, done that's exactly it. it. Once it's just, just enough dry, then you kind of take it off the heat, okay. that's fine, we can leave that. Those. <laughs> that's good. It's good yeah, to teach you how to, to, to chop properly. <laughs> Not really, I'm scared about my fingers. Well, that's what I'm going to show you. I mean, Tim's yeah, probably the best here. Right, here's, here's what we do. We do this all the time on, on some of the weekends. So you want to stand parallel to your board. Right. And then you run the knife down, the, down your knuckle. So you're kind of keeping the knuckle, see, so it's kind of further forward than your nail. Right. So when you do that, and then you can never cut your fingers. I'll try. I've cut my nails off, though. No, you won't. No, your nail's going to be behind there. Your fingers like that. Right in the I've food. I've got a horrible yeah. feeling about this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Careful. No, keep your nails back, babe. No, so no, no, no. No. <laughs> what you want? What you want is you want. Okay. You, so it's like that. Because then the knife runs down there, okay. and you'll never cut your you'll can never I, cut your nail. I can chop an onion. See, that's good. So you'll never you'll never chop your finger again. These peppers feel horrible. It's only because they've been roasted and skinned. It's fine. We've, we've got away with it. Okay, it's brilliant. Right, Tim. It's okay. all right. That will do right. it. Now, what we're going to do to wrap this up, here's our burrito, which ideally you'd kind of warm, but these are fine. So, first thing we're going to do, you're yeah. going to put a few of these peppers along the edge there, just a so few. do you ever use corn, uh, corn ones for burritos? Yeah, corn ones. I, I prefer the corn ones. That's fine. That's plenty of uh, The corn ones are fine. A little sprinkling of that. I really, really think they're a nice flavor, which is far, far more traditional as well, isn't yeah. it? We don't get them as much in this country. A little sprinkling of cheese, and if you want to put about four or five bits of spinach on that bottom edge, and then... I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> that's good. A cooking so show. You you can add, to, yeah, because you seem to have mastered cooking really well. <laughs> 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 okay, now, what we're going to do. Am I to do the rolling? Yeah, yeah. you can, yeah, you can, yeah. Do, you can do the rolling. You got any cocktail sticks? <laughs> well, you know what? Cakes, we're, anything like that? We're, we're going to cope without it because we're going to do it quickly. Because you right. can add a little bit of um, streaky bacon in there. Yeah, can you? smoked yeah. salmon. Oh, that's that's go that way. Okay, now we're going to roll this up. So, what you need to do. Sweet sauce, sorry. Is that sweet? would be lovely. That'd be very nice. What you need to do is. Hold it there, uh -huh. and then roll it over, and then fold that end in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Misha, have faith, have faith. That's good. Okay, now we'll just fold that end in, and then... You see the... When we roll again... It's not working, is it? No, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. Oh. Now, what we're going to do to serve it is we're just going to slice this in half so we can see it. Are you waiting for my food? <laughs> <laughs> Alan's left. <laughs> Look at that. That's what, that's what we get in the centre. And then, to serve it, we've got some good hot sauce to go with that, to give it a real, real kick. Nice. There we go. Oh, Harris, I think you were brilliant. Good. That's it, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> you, uh... Fancy trying your hand at making any of today's dishes, you can get hold of them on our website or get them texted to your phone. The details are on your screens now. Kirsty, you've got to come over and taste this in a minute. So.